Welcome back to episode 13 of Visits with Soxy Nana. I'm going to actually read today what I'm supposed to say in the beginning of these episodes because I found I got really tongue-tied right in the beginning and then after I get that all settled out, I'm good to go for the rest of the episode. So, here we go. Welcome to Visits with Soxy Nana. My name is Alice and you can find me on Ravelry as Soxy Nana Alice. You can find me on Instagram as Soxy Nana. And a big hug and a big welcome to those of you that are here for the first time. Hit subscribe and a thumbs up if you like, if you're liking the video and want to come back and visit. And if you're uh, uh, already a subscriber, thanks so much and welcome back. Good to see you. Okay, so uh, what else? So grab your beverage of choice and let's get started. Today's episode, episode 13, is called Notions on the Go. Okay, so... I found I'm downstairs and I'm wanting to take my stuff upstairs. Well, I've got a craft cart upstairs, of course, and I've got all these little goodie bags, these little project bags that have these beautiful little notions pouches already in them from fiber, uh, from dragon fiber uh, bags. But what happens when I'm heading out to the trailer, to the beach, just for a walk with Chewy? Well, I've got my bag that I take in the car with me. It's a 31 bag, but it's got all these great pouches, but I always have to have notions of some kind. My scissors, my tape, oh, my tape measure. Let's not forget that. And my crochet hook, I need one of those. Well, so I'm checking around on Facebook and don't I see some people have the coolest ideas? Well, I'm gonna share some. Check this out. Is that not neat? Okay, so what I did, check this. So I just have like all this stuff in here. This is an eyeglass case from Walmart. So if you're like me and you change your glasses every couple of years, you end up with extra glasses and extra cases. And the bigger they are, the more room they take up. But if you get the smaller ones, it'll fit nice into even the glove box of your car. So I've got some, you know, thread and a, my scissors are in here. And what I did on the top, Oh, and don't forget, in every Notions kit, band-aids. Don't forget your band-aids, because I even got a boo-boo already. I cut myself last night. So what I did at the back here was I just glued on with a little bit of, like, those little tiny um, Velcro dots. I put those on the back of this, just this piece of felt. And on there, I stuck in some pins and, of course, my trusty uh, needle threader because I need my needle threader all the time because I'm getting older. And of course, what do you have in there? But your needle threader and I have my little glasses so I can see even closer. Those are just little magnifier glasses. I picked up at the Dollarama for a buck. Okay, so that's one idea, okay? Then I'm looking around going, what else can I use? Because I don't have a lot of eyeglass you know, enough eyeglass cases to go for everything. Oh, and I also put my progress keeper on a kilt pin, which I don't know what they call these now. I think they actually call them shawl pins. But when we were young, when I was young, they were for kilts. Put my band-aid back in there and my crochet hook fits in there perfect. Well, look what I found. My old I, my old iPhone case, and I don't use this iPhone anymore. It's uh, very old. And I thought, well, hey, this works. I've got, I've got a little um, keychain that I actually someone gave me. Um, I think it's they're like a dollar. They go to uh, it's this tape measure that goes from one to six inches, and it's a keychain. I think you can get them at like Fabricland for a buck. And I got some uh, little progress keepers on there and some pins. And look inside. Turn it right way up. Ta-da! I made it into a Notions on the Go. 
So, again, I got my scissors in here, band-aids. There's a little pocket on the side. This one's even got a little pocket in here. So you could probably sneak your credit card in there or maybe five bucks or ten bucks to go for an ice cream if you're out and about. I put a little, I put a little bit of padding in here with a piece of felt over top and I just glue gunned it in. I mean, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, right? Anyways, put uh, some more progress keepers and safety pins in here. This one's for my knitting for sure. And don't forget your emery board because you don't want to, you know, get your fingernails, you know, a little catchy when you're trying to work on your, on your good wool. I also have a cable needle in here in case I need that. But again, you know, hey, why not? Works for me. I think you can even put a pen in here. Do I have a pen that I can try? Let's see what I got here. I need one that has a, a thingy on the top. No, of course not. Here's one. This one's actually pretty thick. But you could probably fit a pen in here. If it was a smaller pen, I think it would probably fit in there. Or you could go on this side as well. There you go. Keep it all together. And, of course, if it doesn't, doesn't actually, uh, you know, go snug up and fit real tight with the magnet, you can always stick an elastic band around it. That way you've got a spare elastic band when you need it. Cool, right? So, this was my favorite. I've got these old-fashioned pouches. These are eyeglass cases from back in the day. This says, says Harris Tweed. And actually, my sister-in-law, Mona, gave me this one. And I really loved it so much. I thought, well, I can use it for something other than glasses. And sure enough, I've, I've been using this one quite a bit for my notions. There's a little... <laughs> snippers. For snipping the ends of the wool. I got my progress keepers. And these ones, I just basically just went ahead and I pinned them right to the side and in the bottom I've got what else I've got my some darning needles in here Urgh, way down here I've got my cable needle so yeah so on the go notions on the go and your crochet hook fits in there as well got crochet hook in there for when I have to pull up all those mistakes that I've made anyway so there you go there's three great ideas as notions on the go and I've even got another one here this one's really pretty this was an old iPhone case whoop oh I got a little oh it's a split ring I was gonna put that on the top there through the hole as well and if you know anybody who has these these are from people who are diabetics and this is their their tester for their blood well, it's got little zippered pockets in it already for you. So, I mean, why not use it up? Use it for a Notions. Use it for a Notions uh, on-the-go pouch. It even comes, I've got a little pill bottle in here. Well, it's not a pill bottle, actually. It's for the strips. You could probably use it to put needles in or buttons or beads. And it's got a little uh, elastic loop on it. So you can put, you know, something in there, stitch ripper, what have you. But I just thought, you know, instead of just tossing them in the landfill, why not use, you know, use them for something else. This one's even got a little Velcro pouch on the side. And this could probably, again, you know, oh, look at this. I never even noticed this. It's got a section. So, you know, you could turn this into something that you could add to your backpack. And you could make this into a little, a little uh, uh, first aid kit for when you were hiking or just, you know, heading to the beach or something or going bike riding. And it's got a, it's got a Velcro loop on the back so that you could just put it on your belt loop or on your backpack or attach it right to the bike. You could even put your, if you had little things that you wanted to put on your bike, um, screwdrivers or little wrenches for your bike, you could turn that into a little toolkit too. Also, last but not least, how about makeup cases? A makeup case works really good because it's got really nice big pocket and zippers. And in this case, this one is actually clear on the inside. So it's got the two, two sides, folds up, snaps up, and it's kind of pretty. So this one's kind of nice for doing this. I'd actually put stuff in for my cross stitching because I think it would fit quite a bit of the thread. And then the thread won't get dirty if it falls out accidentally, you know, in the car or something like that. So that would work. I think I would use that for uh, my cross-stitching this summer. 
Anyways, I'm going to have, this is going to be a short video. Um, I have already done the tutorial on the water bottles, on the water bottle, bottle socks actually. I'm going to post the water bottle, water bottle sock tutorial just as a quick tutorial. I think it's about 15 minutes long. And, uh, and then once that one's done and posted, I think I'm going to have a special guest, hopefully next week. And I will uh, go ahead and share that with you. Anyways, and she's going to help me out with making, uh, finishing off the water bottles. Anyways, I am going to post that on Tuesday, a tutorial. I'm going to post, this is April Fool's Day today. So I am going to post this tonight. And that way, um, this is fit, episode 13 is done. And then I'll have the tutorial on Tuesday. And then hopefully next week, I'll have my special guests come and help me finish off the water bottles that I'll do on the tutorial. Uh, I've decided that I'm just going to upload whenever I want for the next little while. The kids are off, off of school right now, um, so I know that uh, I've got the opportunity to get a few more done and uh, get them uploaded this in the next couple of weeks, so I'm just going to go ahead and shoot up a bunch of stuff all at one time. And I will share with you next episode, I'm going to share with you that I started the Musselberg hat um, with uh, the crazy sock lady. She's got a uh, knit along going for that on Ravelry. I'm on Ravelry now too and I have a podcast page, group page. So if you'd like, uh, drop by Ravelry and join the page. Share with me, you know, any pictures you have or any ideas you have for these podcasts or for a knit along. I wouldn't mind doing, I'd like to host a knit along. Um, and if there's something you'd like to knit with me, then uh, let me know. Okay, um, that's about it for today. Like I said, this is a short one. It's Thursday, April Fool's Day. And uh, yeah, so I just wanted to share my, uh, my notions on the go. Take care. Have a great weekend. Bye now.